Hello, I'm Kelly, K7SU, and uh, this is a video on uh, a demonstration video about my grid square tracking application. This application is uh, built in a spreadsheet for OpenOffice. OpenOffice is a free download and is a free alternative to the Microsoft Office suite. And the nice thing about this is it does just about everything Microsoft does, Microsoft Office does, only it's free. So you can uh, use this and it won't cost you anything. So this is my uh, grid square application right here. And I'll go in a little bit later to where you can download this and also where you can download the open office. But as you can see, this is... Uh, a listing of all of the 488 grid squares in the continental United States. And to the right of each one of them is a column with the letter N in each cell, just to the right of the grid square number. What you do is, let's say you're on the air and you, uh, and you work uh, Delta Norway 05. So uh, we click on left mouse click on the N and that brings up a, uh, a down arrow and uh, you click on the down arrow and it brings up three choices here. A C stands for confirmed, W stands for worked, and N stands for not worked. So if you just work them then uh, you will choose the W and that will turn the cell yellow. And so you can tell at a glance when you're looking at the map uh, which grids you have worked and which ones you haven't. Now, if you should make a mistake, say, well, it wasn't, darn, it wasn't DN05, it was DN06. So you can simply click on the down arrow again, choose the N, and it'll put it back to the default blue. So let's say it was Delta Norway 06. Click the down arrow, choose W for worked, and there you go. That's all you have to do. Uh, let's say you work another one, uh, Delta Norway 56, left mouse click on the N, click on the down arrow, choose W for worked, and that's all there is to it. How about Echo Mike 58? Click on the N, click on the down arrow, choose W, and it's now yellow for worked. We can go down here on our tally sheet, and we see that we worked three. We have none confirmed yet. We have 485 yet to work and 488 remain to be confirmed. So let's say a couple of days goes by and uh, you get a QSL card in the mail or they uh, confirm it on Logbook of the World or eQSL, whichever one you happen to use. And uh, so you want to go back into the map and mark that uh, it has been confirmed. So you just click on the same one on the W this time, click on the down arrow and click C for confirmed. That turns the uh, grid number into green. And of course the object of the game is to make the whole map green eventually. Although there are some grid squares that are almost unobtainium, but uh, nevertheless, they are here. Uh, let's say Echo Mike 58 a day or two later sends a QSL card. So we'll go over here, left mouse click on the W, click on the down arrow, to C to confirm. That's all there is to it. Down here on the tally sheet, it says we worked three. That's correct. We have a total of two confirmed. And we have uh, 485 still to, to uh, work. And 486 remain to be confirmed. So it's really that easy. And uh, it's free. And it's uh, something that you can keep up on your uh, computer screen while you're in working grid squares. You can put your call sign in up here, just to make it a little more personal if you like. When you save this, you will want to click File, Save As, and then save it under something other than the original name. The original name is gridsquares.ods. You'll want to save it, say you're working 6 meter grid squares or something like that. You might want to name it 6 meter grids or 10 meters or whatever. It's up to you something that <clears throat> will identify the activity. Maybe you're in a different location or something. 
but uh, I would uh, I would advise you to keep the original one empty so that you can use that at any time for another project on grid squares. This is available for a free download uh, on our ham radio website. If you bring up your browser and type in K7 MVA, whoops, K7 MVA.org, that'll take you to our ham radio website. And uh, click here to enter. And on the left hand side, it says links. If you click on links, that'll take you here to the page uh, <clears throat> where we have the downloads. The first thing you'll want to do is download OpenOffice. And uh, just click on that. That'll take you to their website. You can download it and install it, and then you'll be ready to run any of these sheets. Go up here and click Download Grid Squares for OpenOffice, and it'll download it into your Downloads folder, and then you can do with it from there whatever you like. And then once it's downloaded, um, you can use it. Again, this is kilo7mikevictoralpha.org is our ham radio website, and it's on the links page. Now, our uh, website, our uh, ham radio club, Magic Valley Amateur Radio Club, also sponsors an explorer scout group. They're not really scouts, but it's part of the scouting program. And we are... Uh, Focusing on the STEM program, science, technology, engineering, and math. We have a few boys that are in our Explorer Group program. And although it's not required, this is just a little project I have to help raise money for our Explorer Group. So if you would be interested in donating uh, for the use of this, whatever you want to donate, click on the Donate tab. <clears throat> this tells you a little bit about our group. And then you can click on this link. It'll take you to a page on our website where you can donate to the Explorer Group. We are a 501c3 organization, so your donation would be tax deductible. But that's an option. It's not required. There are no restrictions in this application, whether you pay or not. Uh, it's just here for you to use and enjoy. So if you have any uh, questions, you can leave a comment here, or you can send me an email. It's easy to remember, Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at K7SU.com. So thank you very much, and uh, don't forget to email me or leave a comment, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.